What's happening, y'all? Don't ask where I've been. Don't ask why I haven't removed the thing. Why I haven't removed my copyrighted videos. Don't ask why I haven't started streaming. Okay, it's going to happen, all right? It's going to happen. Give your boy some time, man. Give you some time. But for now, got some big to talk about, man. Got some big to talk about. All right, it's, it might be real quick. I don't know how long this video is, but it's just going to be a quick message about um, my boy Etika. My, one of my favorite YouTubers and slash streamers of all time. Etika World News Network. If you, know, if you don't know who he is, I just said he's a streamer. He he does updates on like Smash Bros videos. He does updates on like other games too. Like, and he's the and he's the founder and the creator of the Joy-Con Boys, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but but it's whatever though. But I got something to talk about. For those who don't know, Etika left YouTube. His YouTube is completely deleted. They're all when I first heard the story on Drama Alert, it was completely asinine that him and for those people who don't know about what happened, here's what happened. So he was on Twitter, he said the N-word, like N-I-G-G-A, alright? Not N-I-G-G-E-R, but N-I-G-G-A. And since he's black, he get to say N-I-G-G-A. He get to say the N-word. So Twitter took action and they susp suspended his account for seven days. Like, what? That's just stupid, man. It's like it's like a white person saying cracker. What, what the fuck ever. Now YouTube, and now YouTube's doing it. Now Twitter's doing this shit. Not YouTube. Twitter's taking action on who's, who's saying the N-word. Who's on a black person saying the N-word. Oh shit. What's up, white people? Oh shit. Some white people just walked by. But anyway. So, he, and then the same thing happened. He uploaded a video explaining why, explaining why, how he got banned on Twitter for saying the N-word. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, some shit about to blow up. But anyway. He got, he was on. God damn, these white people, man. These white people over here blasting music and shit. Can't even split, can't even say my damn words. But anyway, he made a video saying that why why he got banned for saying the N-word on Twitter. And after saying that, he he got a, a, a strike on his channel. The dude got a strike on his YouTube channel. Which, it was completely shocking at once. Which it was completely shocking and stupid. So Etika got mad, he's going crazy, he's getting depressed, he's, he feel, I feel like he's getting depressed until he was like, it's time for me to die. He posted on Reddit saying that it was time for him to die, where he took a screenshot of him actually deleting his YouTube channel. Like, this nigga, sh I'm <laughs> and look at me now, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the word now. <laughs> I just accidentally say it. Hopefully YouTube doesn't demonetize me after this after the end of the month hopefully YouTube doesn't demonetize me but anyway so long story short posted on reddit he deleted his YouTube channel and everyone thought he was depressed he was going to kill himself or all that other crap but but it was revealed it was revealed that he was going to a mental asylum a mental hospital to, to give him some, the help he needs you know? Oh shit, I'm in a tone. I'm in a tone. Now let me let me walk real quick. I'm in a tone right now, so I gotta hurry up. So I can finish talking to y'all boys. Have my headphones in there? Yeah, I got the headphones. Anyway. So he was in the mental hospital. And everyone is asking, is this the end of Etika? Is he coming back to YouTube after uh, he gets out of the mental hospital? I'm going to say, yes, he's, he, he's going to be fine. Etika will be fine. All right? Do not worry about Etika. Because he will be fine. He's just getting some shit out of his head. He's going to get himself together. You know? Uh, you no, know, Like Kabani Monty 456, right? You know that Sonic YouTuber? 
uh, Kobe left YouTube and and Etika said that he's going to be fine. I trusted that because him and Kobe are boys, you know? So, long story short, Etika will be fine. So, do not worry about him. And all I've got to worry about is the Joy-Con boys, right? The Joy, just because Etika, Etika's YouTube got deleted and Kabana Mind 456 is left. And that snake ass boy, uh, Rakeem Marvelous, is still around being a snake and shit. <laughs> oh, no! Gotta refrain myself from cursing, you know? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sounding stupid right now. Sounds stupid. But I gotta explain this. What's going to happen with the Joy Con boys? The answer is they're still around. You know? The Joy Con boys will be fine. We just gotta do it for Etika, man. Keep the Smash Bros hype train up. Keep 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 the Joy-Con boys up. Keep the Joy-Con boys hype. Keep everyone hype, man. You know? And that is why I'm I'm announcing this in November. Because I'm expected to like stream like this weekend or the weekend before. Because yet YouTube still uh disable my monetization thing so here's what I'm gonna do when the next Nintendo Direct comes out and I will be purchasing a Joy-Con Boys hoodie to, to support Etika to support the Joy-Con Boys to support everything man. and especially Kabana Mighty 456 I have still hope I have hope for this nig for this I'm trying to frame myself from saying the N word, you know, for me, D. Montez. Anyway, to support Kabana Minor 456, because there will be a chance he's gonna come back to YouTube. Kobe's gonna come back to YouTube. Etika's gonna come back to YouTube. The Joy Con boys will be still, will still be here, y'all. So that's all I gotta say. For all y'all Etika fans out there, do not worry, he'll be fine. He will come back. I just know it in my gut. He will come back. That being said, thank you. Thank you for watching. And subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Alright, peace.